Hey Libra Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's get into your reading. Take what resonates from this reading. Um, Libra doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. Or someone else around you I'm picking up on, okay? So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Libra Collective. What is this is a love reading if I didn't say that? What is the current situation for Libra and love? The current situation for Libra and love, spirit. We have message and dreams and reverse. Okay, some of you are waiting for communication from someone. You'll be dreaming about this person a lot. And maybe it's been a while since you've heard from them. What is it you don't see coming? We have the ace of swords. Communication. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe the communication you've been waiting for is finally coming in. Some truth. <laughs> yeah, someone is realizing they have deeper feelings for you and want, they want to express it. So they'll be taking the lead. What is the challenge between you two? What is the challenge? Transcendence and unity. Hmm. So coming together. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Scorpio. What's the outcome? Pluto, transformation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of you, this has been a situation that's ended and it's changed someone for the better. Scorpio energy again. Bottom of the deck, closed off, guarded, and resistance. Some of you are dealing with another air sign. And this is the overall energy. So right now, no communication. Let's see why. What's going on with messages and dreams? Some of you, um, like I said, this person could be popping up in your dreams or you, or they could be dreaming about you. You could be showing up in each other's dreams, but just like when you wake up, you're like, man, I wish that was reality. We have withdrawn, taking a break, time apart, shy and soul searching. Someone's in hermit mode, not talking, could be a Virgo. Some of you could be on the Virgo Libra cusp. Yeah, so there's no communication. Somebody's trying to figure themselves out and what they want to do with the connection. They don't want to do anything wrong to hurt you. Or vice versa. And so they want to get themselves together before they fully commit. What is the communication coming in? You stop showing me attention. I feel like you don't care anymore. Wow. This could be them expressing to you why they did that. Okay. Or maybe this is how they feel. They feel like you went cold on them. You went ghost on them. You stopped showing them attention. Maybe they got used to you chasing them. And they felt like you didn't care anymore. But there will be some expression some communication and expression of feelings coming in and love. Okay, because that's strong love and feelings for someone with the ace of swords and being, you know, vocal about it. Why do we have unity as the challenge? Transcendence and unity. So overcoming some kind of challenge has been the challenge. I gave up because you gave up. See, y'all are mirroring each other. <laughs> I feel like you don't care, so I stopped showing attention. You stopped showing attention, I stopped showing attention. I gave up because you gave up. Wow, this is a twin plane for some of you. Just look at the, the energy of the card. The same person, right? But their backs are turned to each other. Pay attention to that. And this has been the issue. Not seeing eye to eye. Show me Pluto with transformation again. This is like the death card. Which talks about death and rebirth, okay? So what is this all about? We have guidance. Your guides are bridging the gap between you and your twin. So it is a twin. Healing is underway. Be patient and trust the process. Okay. So this is being handled by your spirit guides. I knew I was going to knock that down. I saw that in my mind's eye before I started your reading. How minds are so powerful. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck. You needed too much space and time away from me. I was the only one truly invested in the connection. I think that's you, Libra. It could be your person. It could be the cross watcher. But whatever the case, somebody felt like they was they were invested and the other person wasn't. They withdrew, and then the other person's like, well, since you withdrew, I'm going to withdraw as well. I swear. <clears throat> Show me messages and dreams in reverse with the hermit. Somebody's been sleeping a lot. Somebody could be depressed. Maybe they're not sleeping. I don't know. Six of swords, silver lining. Wow. Your spirit guides literally are here. Your guys are bridging the gap and then they show up here. They're in your energy right now. So this is moving to calmer waters. This is healing. This is um, 
learning lessons moving forward, right? Moving forward with or without someone. So some of you, you're still moving, even though you're not with this person, you know you have to keep moving, right? But your spirit guides are here. This is a this is a good omen, okay? It can talk about healing. Show me the ace of swords with it. You stop showing me attention. I feel like you don't care anymore. Queen of Cups, the caregiver. See, they were used to you showing all the love. This could be a cancer you're dealing with, or some of you have cancer placements. Wow. Somebody got used to the other person over giving, self sacrificing. Show me transcendence, which I gave up because you gave up. Opening up. This is the chariot. This is Leo. I mean, this is Cancer Energy. Where did I get Leo from? Maybe it's a Leo that you're dealing with. This is Cancer Energy opening up. So I gave up because you gave up. This is like this person just kept moving forward. Almost like nonchalantly. It's really not. But this is the way they want you to believe they move forward, right? I gave up. Because the chariot talks about moving forward. Leaving the past behind you. You're not focused on the past anymore. You're just focused on what's ahead of you. Overcoming obstacles. Um, there could be distance between you two. Maybe this has been the thing that's hard, been hard to transcend. That could be literal distance or could be energetic, emotional. Hmm. Okay, so that's the only major you've pull, pulled so far. So the most, you know, um, significant energy here is like this moving forward energy. Um, this is a fast card. So, you know, obviously this being the challenge could also mean things were moving really slow. Yeah, and somebody gave up. Show me Pluto transformation with guidance. Your spiritual guides. The devil. Somebody has an addiction they need to overcome. It's painful too. The devil is crying. <laughs> it says the villain. This is Capricorn energy. So you have two majors ending your reading. Yeah. There is someone who is healing some kind of addiction. They're, they're overcoming, transforming some kind of addiction. It's been hard. It's been dark. They've been going through a dark time. I said someone may not be sleeping or they're sleeping a lot. It's one extreme or the other. Yeah, this talks about ego. So this could be an ego death this person is going through, but it's also bad habits. It's um, toxicity. It's low vibrational energy. It talks about drinking too much, you know, too much drug use. It talks about abuse, violence. It talks about lust, selfishness, and consideration. All of your shadow self, you know, the things that we need to heal. And so, yeah, this is the thing that the spirit guides are helping with this person to see the error of their ways. So they've been closed off and guarded. Look at this. Look at all those sixes. Now, I don't believe in the 666 thing being the devil, but that's following the devil. And that could be synonymous with the way society sees it. Because this card, seven of swords, it says for the wrong reasons. Yeah, this person was definitely into something that would not bode well with you. Okay. This could be an Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius. Um, the fact that the Seven of Swords is coming out here with like all these hearts and then like all these friends on social media or whatever. This person could have been entertaining other people. This is a liar, a cheater, a sneaky person trying to get away with something. This person could also be very distrustful because you get a lot of attention. That could be the case as well. Yeah, but somebody's definitely closed off and guarded because they're going through some some dark period. Yeah. Trying to overcome some kind of addiction or something. And this is maybe why you didn't understand why, this, why this person needed so much space and time away. But it's because they were dealing with their own demons. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. That is the end of the reading. I hope it helped. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.